Hi, my name is Scott Sonnen. I was a learning disabled kid from South Central Pennsylvania who came from a military family. And growing up in the family that I did, I found early on the extreme stress that, it imp that impacts soldiers and just as importantly that impacts their families. It guided my career into trying to evaluate how, how can we interrupt this process as early as possible rather than waiting until the damage is done. And if we look at these damages critically, quantifiably, $1.8 billion a year are lost on lost days of work from sprains and strains in the tactical community. Preventable exercises could save $2 billion and not just the, the financial earmark of it but the quality of life that that restores, and we're only talking about sprains and strains, we're not talking about the more serious issues like PTSD, rage, depression, anxiety. Yes, these are the things that will happen on the end of the pipeline if we don't do anything to change how we're preparing our tactical first responders. Retroactive programs are beneficial when we don't do anything proactively. If we look at it from the other end of the spectrum, working with 511 Tactical, I now have an opportunity to provide tools, tactics, techniques, and technologies that allow me to do something before a problem happens and do something to build them up rather than break them down. And this may seem like it's only specific to the tactical community, but it's not. Stress is the number one killer in the world. The average person the average civilian has a lifespan, lifespan of 78 to 82. Tactical first responders have an average lifespan of 54 to 59. Those lost 20 years give us a critical opportunity to consider what is this cannibalizing effect of stress? How can we learn not to prevent stress, this is the wrong approach, but how to mitigate it and use it in a positive fashion? There are two types of stress, good stress, Psychologists call it eustress. And bad stress, distress or excessive stress. We need stress to fight stress. And with 511 Tactical, we have an opportunity to take tactical fitness and apply it in a way that will build us up rather than break us down. If you want to find out more about TACFIT and tactical fitness in general, go to the tactfitacademy.com. Scott, it's been a pleasure being with my friend. Okay, my pleasure.